In two days, the way police do their jobs in the state of Washington will change dramatically after the legislature passed a package of police accountability laws. Now, lawmakers who sponsored the bill say they were responding to a public outcry over police misconduct and the need for accountability. We want to empower officers to do the right thing. We want to give them guidance about the standards that we expect them to uphold. And this is a carefully nuanced uh, bill that will provide that guidance. The Clark County Sheriff calls it the most significant package of police reforms in our history of current law enforcement. I sat down with his chief criminal deputy to talk about scenarios that demonstrate how their jobs will change in ways that may surprise the public, including leaving the scene or refusing to respond to certain 911 calls. So we've given our, uh, our people some instructions on, here's a few calls that we are not gonna be going to as a general rule, but there's, a, there's an exception to every rule. There is a scenario where you could have to let a bank robbery suspect go driving down the street. That is correct. If we get a call, and there is not enough information. We believe there's reasonable suspicion to stop a bank robbery car in the area, match the description, but there's just not quite enough to have probable cause. In the past, we could stop that car. We can still stop it. If they stop, we're fine right now. But if for some reason they say they want to leave or they don't or they run, we can't pursue that vehicle minus probable cause. The parents call in, they say, we, we know she's at her friend's house uh, down the road. She won't come home. Um, we, we get a call, we go there, we walk in, we say it's time to go home or, we, we're, or if we're going to a group home, they get in the car, we take them, no issue. If she or he runs out the back, we can no longer grab onto them. It doesn't allow because it's not, if there's no imminent danger. Now, if they say, I'm gonna go kill myself or I'm gonna go kill somebody else and there's some imminent danger, then we can use physical force. But if they just run out, the back, we can't physically detain a, a juvenile. There is some confusion still of what we can't do. Some can and cannot do. There are some deputies that believe uh, police work is over. There are others that are go, I, I get it. I get what they're saying. I may have to let somebody go when I don't want to. We also reached out to the 911 Dispatch Center in Clark County to see if they'll stop dispatching officers to certain calls. They told us, expect to be asked a lot more questions if you call 911 so they can see who they should respond and send and your wait times while you're on 911 for them to answer may be longer because they're helping other people. I'll have more scenarios to discuss for you coming up tonight at five o'clock. And again, that new law starts on Sunday. Yeah, really